to another amazing how-to video. My name is Josh and today we're going to be presenting the Dita look. So this is very inspired by Dita Von T. Smith's with Jessica Rabbit. So think that classic beautiful vintage styling, that glossy high shine finish. Excellent, off we go. Okay, so here we are with our gorgeous model. So the equipment you will need for this look today, a tail comb, a dressing out brush, a small tong, some hairspray, sectioning clips, and some nice little small pin curl clips. Now if you don't have pin curl clips, you can use something easy, just like bobby pins as well. Okay, so one thing to remember with this is, you want to take quite small sections when you're tonging it, just to get it nice and tight and sitting it flat. Now if you find that you're having a bit of trouble actually tonging um, to get set on the root, you can actually just go through and leave it, but making the short to it really tight. So we're just going to start tonguing now. Okay, now as we're going through the top section, we're just tonguing this soft top bit here, all the way around. If you find it easier just to use your, you can use GHDs if you prefer, or a similar type of styling tool. I'm going to tongue it quite tight. You're going to wrap it up in a little circle, just through the top here, and then clip it into place. And then once all that whole head is finished, we're going to leave it to cool for about 20 minutes and we'll be back to brush it all out. Okay, now that we've gone through and tonged it all in, the front few sections we've gone through and done flat to the head, just so that keeps it nice and flat through there, and then we've just barrel set them all the way through there. So I mean, with a flat tong, it's all flat to the head, so the wave will come out more, and then we've all rolled these ones in, so that'll create the wave that we want. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so now that we've gone through and pre-curled all the hair, and we've taken out all the clips, we're going to use our brush, our soft bristle brush, because obviously you can see we don't want it as curly and tight as this, we want it a lot looser. So we're just gonna brush down with this, like Mr. Hairspray, and then a nice soft gloss over the top to give it a lot of shine. Now, what I find really important in brushing this, don't be afraid to get really into it, because if you've done a strong, really strong curl, it'll last a lot better, and you'll get a bit more wave definition in the hair. So brushing it all from the underneath, all the way around. And you can see where we're going, how it's starting to mold and shape in. So I'm gonna continue opposite on the other side and then just use some, a bit of hairspray just to clean all the fluff up as well. Okay, so now that we've gone through and brushed out the way, we want to emphasize certain parts within the hair. So what we're going to do is say we want a bit more of a fuller fringe. So we're just going to lightly spray it, grab your comb, push it up, and then using one of these small clips again, and then just clipping it up front, and see how that just keeps it nice and full through there. And I like what this little kiss curl is doing through there. It flows out nicely with the style. So again, lightly misting with the hairspray, and that happens, it drops. <laughs> so just clipping this into place, and then just moulding out these little fluffs. Now, if you're like me, sometimes you just want to pick up those little bits that are sticking up, the easiest way I find to don't overlay the hairspray because you don't want that crunchy look is just to take the edge of your comb, even if it's a bigger comb, or even just a tail comb like this. Spray the edge of your comb and then just lightly push it over the top. 
that way you're not over lacquering up through the hair and that way you're just getting those little soft bits there that you need to pick up and you're not overdoing them on the hair as well. So I'm going to finish cleaning this all up a little bit more and we'll show you the finished product. So here we are with our finished look for our model step, our detail. Obviously we've got this beautiful high shine gloss and that real vintage movement and curl but it just modernizes it a little bit the way we brushed it out and styled it. So a couple of key things to remember when you're going through and curling making sure you do tight sections and you make sure you clip them up and set them on the hair. Remember when we went through and curled it and then clipped it in with these little pins. The reason why we do that is what happens when you go through and you just let them drop without clipping up to cool is it just falls out and no one wants fall out curl at the end of the night. So the reason why we do that is obviously just to cool it so it lasts longer. Afterwards we are remembering just to go through and smooth out just the little floppies and flyaways that hang throughout and just a nice high shine and gloss afterwards. Best thing to remember, keep it simple. Don't overstress it. No one wants like a big frizzy mess. If you overthink it, it's going to go to crap. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this how-to and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.